Laravel 5.4 is the next major release of Laravel, and it's due out this week. So today I wanted to uh, take a few minutes and go through some of the big new features and changes coming from Laravel 5.3. Um, so I have a brand new Laravel 5.4 application set up here in my editor. And uh, if we open up, to start with, open up the composer.json, you'll notice we have um, a brand new requirement, and that is the Laravel Tinker has been moved out into its own package. So if you are upgrading from Laravel 5.3 and this is a tool you use, you'll want to import this into your, um, you know, after you've uh, upgraded to Laravel 5.4. So that's just something to be aware of. Next up is Laravel Elixir has been renamed to Laravel Mix. And under the hood, Laravel Elixir would use Gulp to uh, com compile and concatenate and basically handle all of your assets. So now it's been re renamed to Laravel Mix, and the reason is under the hood, it now uses Webpack instead of Gulp. The API is still as simple as it was before. You can see, uh, see down here, it's already got the uh, JavaScript and the SAS to CSS set up. So, um, you know, you'll just want to consult the docs if you have a lot of customizations done to your Elixir file or your Gulp file. Um, from here, if we open up the uh, kernel, the HTTP kernel, we have two new middleware, and those are trim strings and convert empty strings to null. And what the, those basically do exactly what they say. Trim strings, any request uh, that comes in, you, it trims, you know, it trims the string. It removes white space from the beginning and end. And then convert empty strings to null does just that. If something is empty, then it's converted to null. And that works brilliant if you're uh, if you have nullable fields under any of your database columns. And then next feature is uh, the unit test directory. We have two new folders, a feature and a unit, and they should be pretty self-explanatory. Unit is just all of your single unit test, and then feature is more of like your web request. To go along with this, a Laravel 5.4 introduces a new package called Laravel Dusk. And that'll be an end-to-end -end testing framework. Um, really useful if you're going to use, uh, you know, if you're using JavaScript and you want to test how that JavaScript works. It comes with a, an included Chrome driver, and uh, you'll be able to, to do lots of uh, amazing things with that. And then finally, I wanted to talk about the emails. So now in 5.4, you can actually use Markdown in your emails. And... Here is an example. If we go to resources, views, notification, this is just one I set up earlier. As you can see here, it is Markdown. It's using a brand new feature called components and slots, which are, are introduced in the Laravel 5.4. Um, here we have a title of introduction. This will be this will turn into a you know a heading. This will be a paragraph. This will turn into a button and then just a signature down here. But uh, so the button is a good example of a component. So let me open a, the button file. This is kind of the core template. And as you can see here, we have the link right here. Um, this, this actually gets the URL variable, a color variable, which uh, with a fallback to blue, and then a slot variable. So if we switch back over to our template, uh, this tells it the template to use, mail button, our URL, which is empty in this case, and then we could pass a color, let's say red, and then the button text. And this right here would actually be the slot variable in the, in the button.blade. So that's going to be really handy. And another feature coming, the last one we'll cover in this, in this quick video, is the routing. Um, previously, you know, you could have a, a normal route, and let's say you wanted to name this route, you would just stick name equals home on the end. Um, with 5.4, you can fluently set these in the beginning. So you could now say route name test, and pass maybe pass in a middleware of auth, and get. Uh, we'll just call this test and function. So as you can see, that, that kind of makes it a little bit more and more a little bit more readable and a little easier, to, you know, a little easier to look at, um, in my opinion. But uh, so those are some of the big new features coming to Laravel 5.4. This list is hardly exhaustive. Um, be sure and check out Laravel News with the uh, official announcement post, and it'll go into more details about 
these features and everything else that's coming with the release. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.